1 Corinthians 15, 3-4. For I deliver unto you, first of all, that which I have also received, how that Christ died for our sins, according to Scriptures, and that he was buried, and he rose again the third day, according to the Scriptures. There's the Gospel. Jesus told us, go in all the world and preach the Gospel. There is the Gospel. Jesus died according to Scriptures. Jesus was buried. And Jesus arose again the third day according to the scriptures. Matthew 12, 40. For as Jonas, Jonah, was three days and three nights in the whale's belly, whale's belly, whale's belly, so shall the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. That is the words of Jesus Christ. If you have a red-lettered Bible, that is in red. Ezekiel 31, 16, I made the nations to shake at the sound of his fall. When I cast him down to hell, never Hades, hell. With them that descend into the pit and all the trees of Eden. Forgive my voice, I'm not well. The choice of the best of Lebanon, all that drink water shall be comforted in the neither parts of the earth, the neither parts of the earth is hell. The heart of the earth is hell. The gospel is that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. What's one according to the scriptures? As Jonas was three days and three nights in the well's belly. So shall the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. That's one according to the scriptures. One of the according to scriptures is Jesus saying, Jonas, Jonah is the sign. Jonah chapter 2. And Jonah prayed unto the Lord his God out of the fish's belly. Jesus said that fish is a whale. Jesus said fish are whales and whales are fish. How's that? In verse 17, chapter 1, he's called a great fish. Yeah, he's a big fish, all right. Let's ask the Creator and not men. And I said, I cried by the reason of my affliction unto the Lord. And he heard me out of the belly of hell. Hell. And made the nations a shake at the sound of his fall when I cast him down to hell with them that descended into the pit and shall be comforted in the neither parts of the earth. For as Jonas was three days and three nights in the well's belly, so shall the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. Jonah said in the heart of the earth, and Ezekiel says in the heart of the earth is hell. It is not the belly of the whale that is hell because we're not talking about heartburn. We're talking about a man that died and went to hell. Jesus Christ died according to the scriptures and Jesus Christ went into hell and deposited my sins and preached to the prisoners in hell. Say, I am the way, the truth, and the life. You did not believe. You stay in hell. I got the keys of death and hell. Goodbye. Cross the gulf. He met with the repentant thief. He said, today thou shalt be with me in paradise. Walked across that gulf. Walked across another body of water or something. A gulf. To Abraham's bosom, which is on the other side of, of hell, in the deep parts of the earth, and said, hello, here I am. I am the resurrection. You better believe that Jonah died, and Jonah went into hell. He was not alive. Oh, you know, in some of the whale cavities, men could survive. We, I, He did not survive. He went to hell. How do you go to hell? He died. The rich man died and he woke up in hell. Hell cried I and thou heardest my voice. Thou hast cast me into the deep. In the midst of the sea. That was his burial. Jesus was in a tomb of rocks. And they put a stone in front of that tomb. And sealed it. Jonah was in a whale's body. A whale's stomach. And they sealed Jonah with teeth. And a mouth. And lips. Of the whale. 
and the floods come past me about, all the bills, and I wage pass over me. How can he have great, <coughs> how can he have waves and billows when he was inside of a body of an animal? Then I said, I am cast out of thy sight. I will, I will look again toward the holy temple, resurrection. The waters come past me about, even to the soul, to the soul. The death closed me about, and the weeds wrapped around my head. He's inside the whale's belly. But that wasn't it. I went down to the bottoms of the mountains. And it made the nations a shake at the sound of the soul when I cast him down to hell. With them that descended the pit it shall be comforted in the neither parts of the earth, Ezekiel says. Her earth with her bars was about me. There are no bars inside the stomach of a whale. You can't see the ribs. There's no light. Jesus said, the gates of hell. Talking about the church, not the, not the Pope Peter. He says, me, I'm, I'm the rock. And the gates of hell, the gates of hell, the gates of hell. Jonah said, I seen bars in hell. And that gate and those bars have keys, and Jesus has the keys to death in hell. Yes, I believe that. I wouldn't say it if I didn't believe it. About me forever, forever. Jonah would have been in hell forever. It wasn't for the mercy and grace of God for Jonah and Jonah to be a sign of Jesus' gospel. And yet, thou hast brought up my life resurrection. For as Jonah's was three days and three nights in the well's belly, so shall the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. This is where Jonah was. Death. Death. And hell. And resurrection. Thou hast brought up my life from corruption. Jonah's body began to decay as a dead body would, and in the words of Martha, after four days, he stinketh, Lord. He stinketh. He died. He went to hell. Jesus suffered and died and went to hell and crossed the gulf over to Abraham's bosom. And Jonah the, chapter 2 is a sign of three days and three nights. How long was Jonah in that well? He was three days and three nights. How long was Jesus in that tomb? Three days and three nights. What happened to Jonah? He died. What happened to Jesus? He died. What happened to Jonah? He went to hell. What happened to Jesus? He went to hell. What happened after three days and three nights? Jonah came out and was spit up upon on the, on the, on the shore. What happened to Jesus three days and three nights? That stone rolled away and Jesus said, I am alive. The angel proclaimed, he is not here. He is risen. I'm going to read you a note, a Schofield note in my Schofield Bible. Some Schofield notes are okay. Some Schofield notes are not so okay. Some Schofield notes are okay. No miracle of scripture has called forth so unbelief. This issue is not between the doubter and this ancient record, but between the doubter and the Lord Jesus Christ. Matthew 12, 39 and 40. I've just quoted Matthew 12, 40. And let me tell you, Fool, as said in his heart, there's no God. Let me tell you, scholar. Let me tell you that if you have titles to your name and you got PhDs and you got a doctorate and you're Mr. Wonderful and you're Mr. Great and you came out of, uh, out of college and you came out of university, you came out of seminary and wherever you came out of and whoever you are, if you don't believe the story of Jonah, you are the fool. I believe the story of Jonah. I believe Jonah died, went to hell, and came alive. I believe Jesus died and went to hell and came alive. And Jesus said that Jonas was the sign of the gospel that I preach. 
You know, many churches and, and great leaders and pastors and educators and, 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 and other morons from seminaries and colleges and institutes, you know why they don't preach the gospel? Because they don't believe the story of Jonah. Because in the story is the, is the gospel. In the story of Jesus is the gospel. And Paul told us the gospel. The death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. The death, burial, resurrection of Jonah. The death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus. And Jesus said, what happened to Jonas is going to happen to me. So if you deny Jonah's death, burial, resurrection, and going to hell, you are a fool, and you're going to stand before Jesus Christ at the judgment seat of Christ, or maybe the great white throne judgment, and you're going to say, Sir Jesus, as far as the story of Jonas, Jesus, you are a liar. Because I don't believe it. And I don't believe what you said. Probably why they have modern Bibles. I don't believe what you said. I was a pastor of this church. I denied Jonah, so I deny you, Jesus. I'm here to tell you, if you don't believe the story of Jonah, then you don't believe Jesus. And you need to shut up. You need to get out and repent on your knees to God for disbelieving a Bible book story about a man that died, a man that was buried, a man that went to hell, a man that came out of that grave like the story of Jesus. God, who suffered and died according to the scriptures. Here's one of the scriptures, Jonah chapter 2. Here's one of the scriptures, Matthew chapter 12. Died and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. That's the gospel. And if you don't believe that story, I don't care who you are. I don't care what you are. I don't care where you are from. You are calling Jesus Christ a liar. And you can go up to Jesus and say, Jesus, Dr. Stiley, William Hayward said, I am a liar because I don't believe Jonah. And you'll hear Jesus say, well, you are the liar and Stiley's correct. And anybody else who believes the story of Jonah, everybody else who believes he died, not that he found a cavity and survived, Jonah died, and he went to hell, and he was resurrected. If you don't believe that, you are the fool. You need to repent. You need to get right, because Jesus said, For as Jonah was three days and three nights in the heart of the whale's belly, so shall the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. There it is. God said it. You believe Jesus is God? Yeah, yes, he is. All right, you're a Jehovah Witness. You're wrong, too. You need to repent. In the mouth of my God, my Savior, that saved my soul, April 25th, 1987, my God said Jonah died. He went to hell three days and three nights, and he was resurrected. Jesus said, I'm going to die. I'm going to hell. I'm going to be resurrected three days and three nights. Paul says that what Jesus said, that go in all the world and preach the gospel, here's what the gospel is. Here's what we're to preach. 1 Corinthians 15, 3 through 4. For I deliver unto you, first of all, that which I received, how that Christ died for our sins according to scriptures and was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. And if you don't believe Jonah, you don't believe Jesus. You don't believe Jonah, you're calling Jesus Christ a liar. You need to repent. You need to get right. Because you're the wrong, you're the one that's wrong. Well, my philosophy, my educator, my pastor, my school, my educators, my smarty pants. I got one word, one scripture for your smarty pants. I got one scripture for your church. I got one scripture for your university. I got one scripture for your seminary. If we confess our sins, he's faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Believing that Jonah did not die, that Jonah did not go to hell, that is a sin. Is a sin. Have a good day.